Members of the indigenous people of Biafra were reportedly holding a meeting at a Mena area in Enugu when police allegedly invaded the venue. This, however, did not go down well with the members who confronted the policemen, resulting into a violent face-off, sporadic shootings and loss of lives on both sides. This led to an immediate deployment of security personnel to the scene, leading to the arrest of over 20 Biafran activists. The clash between IPOB and security agents is one of many. Before and after the federal government in 2018 declared the group a terrorist organization, scores of Biafran activists have been arrested and detained during gatherings in the southeast region. On the part of the Enugu State Commission of Police, Ahmed Abdurrahman, who spoke in a telephone conversation with Punch newspaper, the operation was carried out by the DSS, but when it turned bloody, the intervention of the police and military was sought. He said in quotes, It was an operation to rescue DSS operatives and at the end, I arrested five, then two corpses. They killed two people and they burned one other alive. They killed one other person whose identity was not known. The injured are receiving treatment, including the IPOB members that were arrested. Maybe other members of IPOB were also with the DSS because they also made arrests and military also effected arrests also. End of quote. IPOB members have vowed to avenge the killings of their members, saying being law-abiding should not be seen as a weakness on their side. The statement issued by the group spokesman reads in part, Those responsible for these barbaric killings in Enugu must pay for their actions against IPOB at the appropriate time. It is laughable for these DSS to be claiming that they've lost five personnel in the hands of unarmed and peaceful people. It is clear to all that IPOB doesn't carry arm. We are warning and asking the Nigerian government and its security operatives to stop this atrocity. Why have they refused to confront Fulani terrorist headsmen, Boko Haram terrorists, and Saru group, Fulani bandits, ISIS, and other groups ravaging the country and busy killing innocent and unarmed citizens of IPOB? End of quote. Public Relations Officer of the Department of State Services, Peter Afunaya, in a statement said in quotes, The service lost two personnel in what was clearly an unprovoked violent attack launched by IPOB on the team. However, all measures have been put in place to ensure that their killers and everyone involved in these dastardly acts are promptly apprehended and brought to justice. Consequently, a full-scale investigation will be carried out with regard to the incident. Once again, the service reaffirms its commitment to assiduously work with other security agencies to maintain public safety and order. It therefore urges law-abiding citizens and residents to go about their normal businesses without fear. End of quote. The separatist group IPOB has been at war with the Nigerian state since 2015. Amnesty International in a 2016 publication alleged that over 300 IPOB members were killed in Onisha, Newi, and part of Ebony State between June 2015 and January 2017. What is unclear now is who is to be blamed. Is it the Department of State Services? The police or IPOB accused of causing confusion and disunity in the country? What will put an end to these reoccurring clashes? As you can see, they are shooting our people. They are shooting our people. They are shooting our people.